Hey everyone, Steve from B&H Photo here at NAB 2014. I'm here with Steve Weiss of Secudo. Steve, thanks for having us over. Pleasure. We're going to talk about the new EVF from Secudo. It's been a year in development. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is a ground up device here, man. It takes a long time. I mean, we worked with the company uh, to develop the new OLED technology. This, this panel that's in here is of our design pretty much. It's, it's 1024 by 1280. So the idea was is that we wanted to have a 720p EVF, which is pretty much the max resolution you can put in there. We, we experimented with actually making a full 1080p EVF, but we noticed that your eye really can't resolve the difference, you know, and it adds a couple thousand dollars. So to what's the, cost. the point? Of oh, doing that right, exactly. We've There's maxed no out because this will accept uh, 4K uh, through the SDI and through the HDMI. It down converts it to 720 because your eye again can't resolve 4K. So I can see 4K, but it's 720p. But it can take a 4K signal, which is great, and it's got what I need in a viewfinder, optical diopter adjustment. Real good optical. We talked about this. Five engineering firms we used, an optical engineering firm, software engineering firm, mechanical engineering firm, panel engineering firm, and the entire firmware and all of the, uh, the components company that developed the components. So, I mean, this is a pretty, a pretty intense project for us. I, I bet, and because it's HDMI and SDI in, so it pretty much camera neutral, go on pretty much any camera you can think of. And it cross of. converts between. Really? Yeah, so if you put the HDMI in, you can go out HDMI and SDI. That's right, so you can just loop through and you're right into your whole transmission stream. Yeah, and here's an even cooler feature. So like when you look through here, you can set up a LUT, which what people don't know, it's a lookup table. So if you're recording raw to the camera, you know how pasty it looks yes. and you really can't focus. So you can create your own uh, color uh, lookup table in here so it looks like a perfect image like you want it to look. You can save that to internally or I'll put it via a USB port. You can bring it in a Resolve or on a DaVinci and you can immediately bring the image up to where you had it in here. So this is much more than just a little monitor viewfinder. I mean, I oh, can yeah. have this look at REC 709 if that's oh, what I'm yeah. used to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And inside, but it doesn't affect the signal path out. No, 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 no. And, and then not only can you do that in the EVF, the loop out has a whole separate stream. So what you can do is I could be looking at raw in here, but the clients in the tent could say they want to have their own lookup table. Right. They can turn on and off all the features they want separately from here. So if they want to look at a histogram and I want to look at a waveform, you can set it up to do that. This, this <laughs> is an amazing sounding piece of technology. Last point. Oh, we got more, we're not done. <laughs> and there's more. No, and here, you know when you're using these kinds of cameras, the larger cameras that, and you, they, you know how when you push the, there's metadata that you get to the screen that doesn't come out the SDI. Things like the punch in button to, you know, digital pixel right. to pixel zoom. We are going to have custom cables for all the cameras that will go into the gradical and give you the same info you get that you get with the camera. Now you said gradical. That's the name. Yeah, we the name has had to be changed because the Oculus was taken by. <laughs> Whoever bought that, you know. But we've got Gradical, but there are two versions of the Gradical now. There's the HD, this unit's about $3,000. Uh, and then the LT version, which is about half the price. It's still amazingly sharp. Well, because it's OLED-based technology, and if people don't understand what OLED is, is when, when you have LED, the whole damn screen is backlit. When you have OLED, this has 5.5 million bulbs in here. And they're right. The, each pixel is providing its own light. And, That's and the in OLED. Theory, this has 5.5 million dots, but each dot has four different colors to it. So it's got it's it's really complex. So when you when you have black, it turns the bulb off. So it's actual black. Now when you have a backlit screen and you... Uh, black is never really yeah, black. Yeah, it's gray because the light's still on. It has to be, right. That's you so, know. so this is high contrast, high resolution, and I was looking through it. I don't see <laughs> drag, I don't see delay oh, no, no, in no. there. It has a dual core processor. You're not getting any lag in this at all. I mean, it, 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 that, that's what took all the time, is to get the microprocessor. So when you were looking through it, you had a waveform, a vector scope, a histogram, you were watching an HD and it had zero lag. So this is way behind your, your basic little viewfinder that you just plug in 
for putting your eye wherever you want it near the camera. Yep. This is an impressive piece of technology. If you look here, oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That's all right. It has an airy rosette so that you can get it with our, our, with our access very far forward, as you can see here. But on our new VCT plate, where you have a six pound lens and a, six, and a five pound camera, uh, we, we've actually slid the camera back so that if you look at where your shoulder goes, this is pretty much how cameras need to be now since there's no recorder back here. Right. And by doing that, you need to get the ZVF very far All the way forward. forward, right. That's why we like using our access here and going on the side so that when you, when you want to tilt it, it tilts at the nodal point and not, you know, it doesn't do this. Right, so it's very, and it works, and this is for a shoulder cutout? Yeah, this is great. I don't know how wide we are, but, so like when you pop this off, the nice part about it is you go right to your shoulder and you don't have to screw around with putting on a shoulder pad. So you've got two really well thought items, the VCT plate, which really works well with the new viewfinder, but I'm telling you this EVF really sounds exciting. I can't wait to, to really start working with one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Steve, and Steve from Zacuto, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. NAB 2014.